Hey everyone, welcome to Del Bello's Designs. My name is Catherine and today we're going to be creating this 8x8 card that I am calling Anna's Happiness. Anna's Hummingbird is a species of hummingbird that is native to the northwestern United States and it is a pink bird so I thought that was a, an appropriate name to call this card. So let's go ahead and talk about all of the things we're going to need to get started. That's what we need to get started. We'll be using the LAV894 Small Hummingbird, LAV898 Moss Flowers, and the LAV904 Shadow Bloom for stamps. To begin working on our card front, we're going to be using our mister or sprayer with some water in it and two sprays I have the Lavinia acrylic sprays in soft yellow or sun yellow and cranberry red we only need two ink pads today we'll be using the VersaFine Claire and glamorous that matches the cranberry red really nicely and we'll be using the morning mist for our card, we'll be using a piece of multifarious cardstock that I have trimmed down to six by six. I have a piece of coordinated colored cardstock in six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then I have an eight by eight card base um, that started out as 16 by eight and folded in half. A few more things we'll need are our pastel pencils. Today I'm using the red and yellow and because I'm coloring my image with pastel pencils I also have an enamel spray to go on top. You can use a fixative or whatever you have on hand. We'll be using some glitter pens. I have the gold and the pink. I have my Posca pens in white and pink glitter. And then I also have my Micron pen in black to touch up anything and add some details to the hummingbird. Finally, I have my Sweet Petunia glue press to assemble my finished card all together. Let me pull this together and we'll come back and get started. to let my multifarious cardstock dry on its own and I find that when I do that it actually dries kind of um, smooth and flat. If you're in a hurry you can help it along with your heat tool but today I just left that to dry on its own. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp some of the shadow blooms in the VersaFine Claire Glamorous and I'm going to do that in second and third generation stamps just around the edges of my card. So in order to get those second and third generations, we're going to stamp, ink up our stamp, stamp it off on your scraps, and just place a few around. Now they're not showing up real bright, and that's what we want. We just want the hints of them in the background.
think one more in here will do it. All right, now I'm gonna clean off my stamp and come back in with the VersaFine Clear in Morning Mist. Now with these stamps, I actually wanna make sure that I'm getting a nice bold image so I'm gonna ink it up and apply it directly to my card. And I'm gonna hold it down just to give it a few minutes to really soak into that cardstock. There we go. And we'll do one more here and another one on the other side. I'm noticing that I have a little space down here, so I think I'm gonna add an extra one there. Okay. And we'll just stamp off the card. And I really wanna leave lots of room for my hummingbird, so I'm gonna place it kind of low down on my card. There we go. I think that'll do it. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So now, I'll put that aside and bring in the hummingbird that I've already put on my stamp block. And I wanna place him right here. It looks like I left lots of room for that, so just make sure that you leave that open space for him. Look. So I'm just gonna ink that up really well. and then put him right in the space. All right, I think I'm committed to right there. And I'm just gonna hold it down and press for a few minutes to give it a chance to really soak into that cardstock. And there we go. I'm gonna clean this up and come right back and we're gonna put the finishing touches on this quick card. All right, I'm back and I'm ready to color in my card. And I do wanna apologize for the buzzing. I had turned off the fan before I started, but forgot to hit the AC. So hopefully the background noise is to a minimum. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is color in my blooms. And I'm gonna do that using my red and yellow pastel pencils and I'm going to start around the outside and it looks like that didn't stamp perfectly but that's okay because we'll fill that in and fix it up at the end and you won't even notice. So I'm just going to go around the outside of my blossoms with the red and I'm going to use the yellow to blend it into the middle and then we'll get it from a shade of bright red to more of a pinkish orange. And I'm gonna repeat that with all of my blossoms and, and we'll go from there. So 
that was really enjoyable and fun blending those colors together. I started with the red on the outside and then used my yellow pencil to blend it in. Now when I started this project, I thought that I would use the yellow to deepen the yellow on my hummingbird's wings, but it looks pretty deep and bright using just the spray, so I'm going to leave that as is. The next thing I'm going to do is come back in with my gold glitter pen and I'm going to highlight the centers of these flowers. It just gives it a little bit of a nice sparkle and adds a little to it. Okay, I hope the camera's picking up all that sparkle. The next thing we're going to do is work on our hummingbird. So I'm going to continue with my gold gel pen and I'm just gonna highlight in some of the detail on his wings. So we'll just add a little bit of sparkle to the outsides, which is going to eventually blend in with the pink that I'm going to use more of on my bird. Right, and that's going to do it for the gold. Actually, it's not gonna do it for the gold. I think I want to come back in and just highlight these little feathers with a bit of my gold. All right, now I'm gonna come back in with the pink. And I'm, so I've got my pink gel pen and I'm going to outline the feathers on my bird and fill in some of his body. Now we're nearly finished. I'm just gonna come back in with my Posca pens and add a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna start by adding some pink sparkles coming from the bottom just up through the top of the blooms. I've set my card 
topper aside to dry and while that's drying I decided I'm going to stamp my card base so using one of the blossoms from the moss flower set I'm going to stamp it in the morning mist and stamp off a few times just to do the front of my card and then I thought today why don't we even decorate the inside of our card so we'll get a few of these done so I've got a couple in the bottom left corner I'm going to add one more in the top right corner just like that now I'm going to open up the inside of my card I don't always stamp on the inside of my card but sometimes it's fun to just add a little bit of extra so I'm just going to randomly do this and I haven't planned it so I have no idea how it's going to come out that one not so great let's see if we can fix that there we go perfect We'll add a little pink over there and nobody will even know that's there. Okay. All right, that's going to do it for that blossom. I'm going to use this one next. So it's not quite matching. It's a little different, but I think it's going to look really good in our finished card. So here we go. We're going to do this one with the glamorous. Do a couple down here just to cover that little mistake. And then a few up here in this top corner. All right. I recently ordered the Wise Words stamp set from Cardio, so I'm going to add this to the product description box at the bottom of the video, and I'm going to pick one of the sentiments to use on the inside of this card. So I think we're going to use, there is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. That seems like... It would fit really nicely with our little hummingbird theme here. All right, when I use words on my cards, I like to use something to line them up. And one of the things I like to do is line up the top of my stamp block to the top of my card. Actually, let me just I'm gonna do it right on the card and get an idea of where we're going to put this. So I think I want the words to go here. So I'll just check to make sure they're sort of straightish. I'm gonna use a longer stamp block. And if you line up your stamp, this is just a little helpful hint. If you line up the words right where you'd like them on the inside of your card, making sure they're straight. Now I'm going to line the top edge of my block to the top of my card so that when I put it back down, 
my words will be nice and straight. And I think I'm gonna do those in the morning mist. So just lining up the top, to the top of my card, and stamp. And there we have it. I'll get this out of the way. And now I'm going to glue down my mat. The base of my card is dry. I hope you can see all that sparkle and shimmer. And now it's time to stick it onto our card base. going to give it a little bit of a press. If you find that when you're making your card and the topper is a little bit warped from the, the sprays, you can just simply put something heavy like one of your big stamp blocks on it. Sometimes I turn my glass mat upside down and put my finished card underneath it. But this, because I let it dry on its own and I didn't use my heat tool, it actually dried pretty straight, so I think we're gonna be good with that. So here's the front of our card. Here's the inside that was really fun to stamp and create. Thank you for joining me today. If you have not already done so, please join our Facebook groups at Dalbello's Designs Lounge and Dalbello's a la carte and you can share your makes with us there. See you soon.